Honestly, I'm not even sure where to start with this one today. So you probably saw our last sponsored video from Lenovo on the yoga book. If you didn't, it's right around there. But uh, here we go. Okay, so let's clear some space. Razer Core, you're out. MacBook Pro, you're out. Money Cat? Money Cat's in. So Fab2 Pro, what is this thing? It's a phone, it's a tablet, it's a phablet. It's right in the name, so it's got a Snapdragon processor, a static cling screen cover thingamaboober. It's got 64 gigs of storage, it's got uh, AC, Wi-Fi, it's got a 4,050 milliamp hour battery, it's got a massive 1440 screen, and, whoa, look at that. Would you look at that? Yeah, would you look at that? It's a headphone jack. Right, but moving around to the back, this is where we get into the really interesting stuff. So right here is a 16 megapixel camera. 16 megapixels, RGB! which basically just means it's a camera. But no, no, there's other stuff. So this guy right here is a depth camera. This is a flash. So the flash is normal too. These are the normal parts. Then there's a fisheye camera and a fingerprint. Okay, a lot of phones have those too. Okay, so every other thing back here is unusual. Let's go ahead and get this baby fired up. Wow, that is a really fast fingerprint sensor. It is actually registering them that fast. Discover Tango, an introduction to the Tango experience. Tango. That must be an OLED display. Actually, I can't tell. Oh, crap. IPS. Oh, wow, those are really deep blacks. Whoa, check this out. So the idea is that it uses a combination of the sensors and cameras to figure out Spatially, where? Why is there like a goat or something in my office? It's not a deer. Well, I don't know what it is. Okay, now I'm really confused. These are like wolf, deer, raccoon things. Whoa, look at him go! Oh, he stopped. What a loser. Loser, wrong. Oh, whoa, that's like a window into the like real world again. Oh, and we're back to the real world, okay. So back to the cameras again. Why do they need all these cameras and sensors for Google Tango? Well, they need sensors that are capable of motion tracking. So this is obviously to help the device understand its orientation in physical space. They need multiple cameras that allow Tango to recognize the world around the device by utilizing visual cues. This helps to self-correct for errors in the motion tracking. And it needs the depth sensor that allows Tango-enabled devices, right now this is the only one, of course, to understand the shape of the world around it. So that way you can interact with the world around you in all new ways, utilizing the virtual world created by Tango. So uh, now that we've got that all sorted out, let's go try it, shall we? So the idea is that you trash the castle. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Now what happens? That's it? I only get one shot? I mean, that's okay. I got three stars, I guess, but I want to go see it. Check that out. That's what you can't do in Angry Birds. Get in close and inspect the havoc you've caused. Oh my goodness, there's so many dead people in that castle. You just can't see it because you don't have the angle for it. But trust me, there's lots of dead people on the other. It's actually a savage, savagely realistic game. Size matters. Bigger pieces are harder to knock over than smaller ones. All right, I'm too close to the damn island. You're too close to me. OK, this time I'm going to strategically attack that spot right there. But I'm gonna pull back harder because I think that was my problem last time. 
Oh, I'm sitting in the garbage can. This is fine. Everything about what's going on right now is fine. What? Hey, where'd you go? Oh, oh, oh look at him. Oh. There he goes. Can I pet it? I actually don't know. Oh, yes, oh, I think oh, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Whoa, there we go. Oh, huge? yeah, we got a huge yes, dog. Giant puppy. <laughs> His eyes are so soulless and empty. <laughs> ah, he's oh coming God. for us. <laughs> okay, so new idea. Let's go on the green screen and try the dinos among us. An experiment in augmented reality from the American Museum of National History. National, natural. That's not a dino, that's a penguin. Can you stop poking me with the camera? Jeez. Okay, Velociraptor. Oh! That's not nearly as big as I thought it would be. No, 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 that's what like real raptors are like. They were like turkeys. Really? Yeah. So they're not like Jurassic Park. Nope. Oh. I mean, there is a dinosaur like that, but it wasn't the Velociraptor. Interesting. You know, I've heard about this, this whole thing where like, there's speculation that dinosaurs were much more closely related to birds and probably had feathers versus being like reptiles with scaly skin like we thought they were when we were kids. Mind you, when I was a kid, we thought Brontosaurus was a thing, so that's how out of touch my generation is. Okay, do something. Oh, can I make it bigger? Velociraptor was a fierce predator. Probably had large wings. Interesting. That's really cool. I'm just gonna put all the dinosaurs around. Yeah, we're just gonna have an office full of dinosaurs. Oh, that's cool, it still remembers where I put Velociraptor. That is really cool. Here, let's place our last one. Oh, wow, that one's big. Hey, bud. See, so there's our uh, Cardipteryx, our Archaeopteryx and our Velociraptor, and our Ornithomimus. Oh, I'm gonna move, oh, he put his head down. There he is. Mm, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, that's it. So let's try a game. This is sure a lot less work than uh, doing dominoes when I was a kid. I wonder how many dominoes you can draw. Oh, how fast can you go? Step back. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh no, they're gonna hit each other. We're gonna have a domino collision. Oh, fail. That's pretty cool though, actually. So Tango then. Now, I've seen this kind of tech before. I've seen like take a picture and have dinosaurs appear in it or whatever the case may be, but it's pretty clear that thanks to the additional hardware, the whole thing does work better on this. Now, with that said, everything you guys saw today was either obviously pretty early stages or clearly labeled as an experimental project. So what I wanna know from you then is what do you see in terms of the potential future for this? Let us know in the comments below. We will be reading them. So thanks again then to Lenovo for sponsoring this video and for sending us the Fab 2 Pro. If all this augmented reality looks pretty cool to you, you can actually get one of your own. We'll have that linked in the video description. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. I will see you again next time. But maybe in augmented reality.